Hello everyone and welcome to week 7 of the 2016 season of the Emerald Madden League here on Madden NFL 15 for the Xbox One. Getting ready for a big matchup against Mike, the Minnesota Vikings, who is sitting at 4-2. and two. I am 3-3 three and three on the season, as you can see right there on the screen. Let me uh, get this going so I can send the invite to him. So, coming off of a pretty frustrating game against... Ryan, the Broncos in week six, um, played pretty well defensively for the most part. Um, I let up 28 points at the end of the, at the end of the game, but I mean the last 14 of that were in the last quarter when I was you know down late trying to make a comeback. So that's the story there. So not really. I mean offensively I didn't play very well, but so let's see uh, if Mike got in or not. It's like a coin. It's like a coin flip when you're <laughs> trying to connect with someone in this game. It looks like. There we go. All right. So as we load this up, go over the usual recruitment speech. If you're interested in an online connected franchise for Madden NFL 15, head on over to IonGameCorner.com. Hit the Madden 15 page on the right hand side and that will give you all of the info, teams that are taken, and the rules for the league for both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. If you're interested in joining the Xbox One League, you want to contact me. My gamer tag is Aretheus on Xbox Live. You can see it right there above the Jaguars logo. You can also reach me via email, iongamecorner at gmail.com or on Twitter at iongamecorner. If you're interested in the PlayStation 4 League, you want to contact Nick, you can reach him on PlayStation Network. Kagone is his handle there, K-A-G-O-N-E. And you can also reach him via email at NickOlivera87. So let's see if, uh, see how this game goes. I'm not uh, not overly confident heading into it. Vikings and Jaguars on EA Sports. All right, so we're getting ready to go here. So as I usually do with player versus player games, uh, commentary will be pretty much nothing during the game as my opponent will be able to hear me. So if there's any comments or questions in the chat, then I'll uh, respond. But otherwise, enjoy the game. And here's Todd Boone. Made right around the 32 yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Bortles got two tight ends on the field for this snap. First down at the 32. Takes it on the draw. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. Second down coming up. Blackman's a receiver in the slot. And he's forced to the ground. This defense is ready to pounce here early in this game as a third and long play is coming up. They sure are. There's no doubt about that. They got themselves in a good situation here. If I'm the quarterback now, third and long, I would be very cautious and conservative. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Here we go now. Three and 39. Left, 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 left. Left, 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 left. The play clock's running down. Now on the move. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. And 
Antonio Brown from the 12. Picks up eight here. It's first down as they head to the line. Bridgewater will have it in the pistol. Bell's going to secure the handoff. That gains a few. Here's the Vikings lineup on offense. A week ago, they shredded the defense, throwing for over 400 yards. Bridgewater's got the football after the play fake. That brings the play to an end. Sometimes the defense can be all over the receiver. It doesn't matter. You cannot stop a great catch. Murray lined up in the backfield. First down at the 38. Murray. And they bring him down at the 38-yard line. This linebacking core is the heart and soul of this defensive unit. Second and nine. Makes the catch. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. First down here after the completion. Brown's going to get set in the slot for this snap. The Vikings use a timeout here. We'll take a quick break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Vikings decked out in a lot of pink. And we see pink throughout the building. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. Very nearly intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Second down here. The Vikings line up in the pistol offense. The Vikings pistol set here. Bell's taking the handoff. He's brought down. After that last run, it sets up third and six. Bridgewater standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Antonio Brown with the catch. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. First down at the 28. Bell's going to take the handoff now. And he's brought to the ground. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Macklin's lined up in the slot. Second down and five. Right back to him one more time. Now third and five after the run. Green's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. The Vikings get a first down. I know it looks easy, but it's not. But a nice throw on the slant route. Slant route means you're slanting towards the inside. Good throw and catch. The Vikings with a huge gainer right before the break. And now coming back to the line to start the second. First down on the way. What a drive this has been. And the second quarter is under. Vikings in the end zone. 
Well, the offensive line did it all on this drive, didn't they? Here it is on first and goal. Nice job of pass blocking, and the quarterback finds the open receiver for the touchdown. The Jags are ready to return the kick. Catches it at the two and starts his return. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. First down, offense readying for the snap. Offense lines up here. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Tackle made by Clowney that time. After that grab, it's now second down and two. Robinson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Portals got it in the gun. Has his man. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Throws the pass. Reaches out and snatches it. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Defense calls a timeout. They face first down. There we go. Knee, 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 knee. Ready. Hudson. Finds his mark. And they get to him at the 45. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. is Mark. They knock him down and he's still two yards short of the first. The Jaguars have it at the 39. Pass is intercepted. He's brought to a halt. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position and they made the interception. They come to the line, and it's first down. Jones is in the slot. Looking across the middle, Julio Jones with a nice catch there. That ball had a lot on it. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Toss play. They tackle him for a loss. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down. Bridgewater will have it in the pistol. Watson's in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Out to Watson. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The Vikings come out in the Let's pistol. Yeah. Yeah. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Second down after the incompletion. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Handoff made. Picks up about two. I will say this for the offensive coordinator. He is persistent. They're not running the football very well today. And that time he tries to run game again, 
Gets a couple yards, but not much. After that run, third and eight for the offense. Split backfield here. Midway, second quarter. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. And converts on the three. Never take it for granted. When you're trying a field goal, a lot of things could go wrong. But good execution that time by the offense and a good kick. Three points. Odman will run this one out. That'll stop the play right there. The Jaguars offense now marches onto the field. Three, Robinson's a three, receiver three, three, in the slot. Three, three, eight, eight. First down and ten. Here's the handoff. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. Second down now. Robinson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Has Olsen Max there to make the stop. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. First down here after the completion. Here we go. Here we go. Side to the left. Gets about four yards that time. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Here we go. Three, nine, Out of the shotgun. Makes the reception. Back that time in on the tackle. The Jaguars are at the line facing third down, which was not an issue for them last week as they converted a number of times in crucial situations. Bortles going to take it from the gun his man. Good piece of tackling. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Here we go. Move 45. Move 45. Portals back in shotgun formation. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Vikings official. Clay Matthews' injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Second and ten. Getting away from the pressure. The ball is out was able to recover the ball. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. Third down and six. Has his target. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. The Jaguars come out in a jumbo set. The give for a gain of about five. The Jaguars really have great faith in their offense. They go for it on fourth down, and that faith paid off, and they picked it up. First down here after the run. Portal's going to take the snap from the shotgun. 
has Olsen. Back that time, in on the tackle. The Jaguars call a timeout. They're first. That's second down coming up. Play after play after play here on this drive. Bortles standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Olsen's one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make a catch. The Jaguars from the 37. And he hauls it in. Nice tackle. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. The long drive continues. Here we go now. Now first and ten. Throws to the right. Makes the catch, but didn't get the feet down. Incomplete. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. This long drive continues. Here we go now. Three. Oh, what? Screen. He's got the catch. This run goes nowhere. Stuffed for a loss of four. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. He'll try this one from 47. Right. Needed plenty of leg on that one. So that's going to do it for the first half. Vikings are up in this one. Jim Nance and Bill Sims. Everbank Field is our site today. And the third quarter is about to commence. And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. the Vikings bring their offense back on the field for their next drive. Split backfield here. And now here's the first snap of the second half. Makes the reception and that picks up three. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback and it picked up a couple yards. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. Bell takes his spot in the backfield from the shotgun. Here's Baldwin, dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. This is third down. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. Running back in motion here. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Murray's hit and brought down. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Fourth, fourth. Two, three. On the money and gains maybe four. When the defense is going to play safe and they don't want you to run by them, you've got to be able to throw these out routes where the receiver's cutting towards the sideline and the quarterback Stick it in there. The Vikings will take the snap from the 40. Murray's brought down after picking up six on this play. The Vikings offense has been tough today. They are fighting out there on the field. That's a nice job picking up that first down. It's been fun to watch. They got a small lead here in the second half. We'll see if that first down can lead them to a score. It's the old counter play. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Running backs 
They love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Bell is able to show everybody why he should get the football more. Good job that time finding his way and picking up a first down. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Bridgewater by himself in the backfield. Bridgewater's got it in the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. The reception, easy, wide open. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Green's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Bell will get it on the toss. Kozlozny's able to read that play and make the hit. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Second and 12. He's in for the touchdown. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. And here's Todd Boone. Tackle right at about the 28-yard line. The Jaguars ready to take over the football. Empty backfield look for Bortles here. First down at the 28. Set up screen. Almost intercepted. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped, and this time that was a bad drop by the defense. The Jaguars take it from the 28. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks Green, the football Green, out to the 90, ground. Green, 90. Go, go, go. Third and ten. As Olsen. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the left, field. Left, left, left. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. Green, 90. Green, 90. Left, 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 left. First and ten. Look at it throwing. That picks up 11. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. First and 10. Throws the pass. Has Olsen. Huge yardage picked up and finally tackled at the end. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, hey, even hey. though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Find shorts, and they are in on shorts. Well, that last play almost got them in here, and when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just into the end zone for the touchdown. You've got to be able to take advantage of the quarterback sneak. If the defense doesn't line up properly, find the weak spot and go there to score. He made it. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. the touchback and the ball will be spotted at the 20.
The Vikings are ready to take over now, and their offense heads on to the field. Bells lined up in a single back formation. First down at the 20. Green is going to pick up the first down as he's tackled. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good the defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. Macklin's lined up in the slot. Scrambling out of the pocket. Green's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Well, you got to do that now in this NFL. Oh, we got Nick watching here. Uh, Twitch ad. Oh, really? Well, that's what you get for having a Apple product. <laughs> First down here. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. The Vikings are coming off a big play to end the third, and now they'll try to keep up the momentum as we begin the fourth quarter. First down, following the long play. Toss to the outside. Breaks free, has some space to work with. And they are in on Bell. Jim, the offensive coordinator's done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Bridgewater's pass will go for an incompletion this time. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. Second down following that incompletion. <laughs> Bells lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Looking across the middle, can't find the target on the pass underneath. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. The defense comes out of the nickel. They're down and 10. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. First and goal from the five. And now he'll take off. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second and goal from the five. Tackles made. It's third goal right here in a close game. This offense, they want to take control. If they score right here, that could give them control of this game. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Vikings official. Julio Jones' injury won't stop him from getting back on the field, guys. In fact, they're saying he should return any play now. Back up to you. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Third and goal at the four. It's a touchdown. You want to make your coach happy? Have the lead and have your offense just keep pushing the football down the field and score and increase that lead. Vikings getting ready to kick it away. Takes it from the two. going to give his team great starting field position on that return. The Jaguars getting ready now to start their drive. Robinson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Portal's going to take it from the gun. Throws to the right. It's Lee, and he is brought down at the 45-yard line. They're going to the hurry. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 45. Looking to the right side and throwing. 
Olson's tackled down at the 43. First down here after the completion. Lee's in the slot. Here we go. Green, left, 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 left. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. Portals back in shotgun formation. He's looking to the right here on this throw. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. The Jaguars lined up. Everybody split out wide from the gun. It's Lee. He stacked up at that point. When you play a cover three defense, you protect against the deep pass. But the problem is all the underneath stuff is wide open, and the quarterback is taking advantage of that. They'll mark him at the 28. Second down coming up. They're going to the hurry up offense in the back of the line quickly. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Almost intercepted that time. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Empty backfield look for Bortles here. Left, 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 left. Third and six. Interception. The tackle was made and no return as this goes for a touchback. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down coming up. Murray lined up in the backfield. Bell's got it on the handoff. Right side. Brought down after a gain of six. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Coming up, second down. The Vikings come out with a split backfield. Murray's handed the football. Murray's hit and brought down. The Vikings offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. First down here after the run. Fourth, fourth. Split backfield here. Bell's going to secure the handoff. In on the stop. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets them a few yards. It's now second down. Nickel formation for the defense here. The Vikings are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Now third and four following the run. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Four following the run. Bell's taking the handoff. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. They're able to move the chains after that last run. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Feeds him again. They are all over him. Behind the line of scrimmage. And a loss of one. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. 
Second down and 11. He'll get it again. And tackled down at the 49-yard line. The Jaguars use another timeout here, and they have one left. Third down, following the run. Back to him, and straight ahead, Bell. Now, they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. That's a timeout by the defense. Sam Cook for the punt. <laughs> the offense pinned back in an awful position. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Bortles going to take the snap from the shotgun. So that's a two-point safety for the defense. Brown's got it at the 29. Brought down at the 38. Vikings getting set now for the next series. Takes the knee. And here we have second down. Well, that's gonna do it for this one. So just another plain old ass kicking here. How much you can say about this. Takes the knee. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Oh, uh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game. Just think so it's, about uh, it, Jim. It's, it's, you got it the stats, like I guess. I <laughs> you know, don't know why, but... All right, it's a 20 of 30 for Bortles, 176 yards. You're so excited for no the touchdowns, two interceptions. Done, man, it, it, that, it's a wonderful time. That second interception really was, I don't know, he tried lofting and leading the receiver and still underthrew him. So, that's... Uh, not sure what happened there, but Bridgewater was 16 of 22 for 221, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Nick, you can say it was 17 to 10 at one point. Uh, yeah, I guess so, but it, I don't really feel like I was really ever in that game, to be honest with you. Bell 15 for 72. I mean, basically, both of his backs averaged five yards a carry, so run defense blew, which helped him pretty much hold on to the ball as long as he wanted to, and I couldn't do any running because I was coming from behind the entire game. So, Oh, almost a 100-yard receiver. That never happens for me. So Brown with two touchdowns, so... Yeah, time of possession is probably really skewed. Yeah, basically two to one time of possession. So there you go. Let's uh, get the hell out of here and end this game. We're now two out of five of this run of games against other players who are all probably going to beat me. <laughs> over to the action screen. There we go. 26-10 defeat at the hands of Mike and the Minnesota Vikings. Dropping me to 3-4 and four on the season. And I can might very quickly find myself out of playoff contention after the bye week when this whole run is said and done. So 
That's awesome. Alright, so... Before we wrap this up, once again, if you're interested in joining an online connected franchise for Madden NFL 15, head on over to IonGameCorner.com. Hit the Madden 15 page on the right hand side. It'll give you all the info, rules, and teams that are taken for both the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 leagues. If you're interested in joining the Xbox One League, you want to contact me. You can reach me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Aretheus right there on the screen underneath the Jaguars logo. You can also reach me via email, IonGameCorner at gmail.com or on Twitter at IonGameCorner. For the PlayStation 4 League, you want to contact Nick. He has been diligently watching this debacle. <laughs> you can reach him on PlayStation Network, Kagon, K-A-G-O-N-E. That's how he spells it, on PlayStation Network. And you can also reach him via Twitter, at NickOlivera87. Uh, also, uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, or even if you're watching this after the fact on YouTube... Uh, if you're interested in not just Madden, but uh, all sorts of other games, uh, definitely check out Nick on Twitch. Kagone is also his name there. He streams um, very frequently. Um, he was streaming uh, Dying Light earlier this morning. So check him out there. Um, give him a follow. And you won't be disappointed to get some fun game gameplay. A good variety of games, because Nick plays everything. <laughs> So, all right, so that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for checking this out. Uh, if you got any comments, questions, feedback, let me know. And we'll catch you next time for week eight of the 2016 season of the Emerald Madden League.